Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Theme Park 101. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, shows and attractions found at Disneyland and Disney California Adventure at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California for 2024. Stick around until the end of the video for my hot tips for visiting the parks as well as a sneak peek at what is coming to the resort over the next few years. Let's begin with Disney California Adventure that opened in 2001. You enter the park into Buena Vista Street, which similar to Disneyland's Main Street USA, is filled with plenty of shopping and dining locations. It is themed as Los Angeles in the 1920s, which was when Walt Disney first arrived in the city. You can take a ride on the red car trolley, which resembles the 1920s red cars made popular by the Pacific Electric Railway Company in many of the major cities in Southern California. Guests can hop on the trolley, which will take you down Buena Vista Street, through Hollywood Land, and ending at the entrance of Avengers Campus, with a total of four different stops. Along Buena Vista Street, you may bump into Mickey, Minnie or Goofy in their 1930s styled outfits. And throughout the day, you can catch a showing of Five and Dime, a jazz group performing all the hits. As with all my guides, we will continue around the park clockwise, which takes us to Hollywoodland. This area harks back to the 1930s golden age of Hollywood and hosts attractions themed to this concept, including a backlot of a typical Hollywood studio. The first attraction that you will come to is Mickey's Philhar Magic. This is a great 3D show filled with Disney characters and a fun storyline. Join Donald Duck as he goes through scenes from some classic Disney animations including Fantasia, The Lion King and Coco. Opposite is a great show for younger guests, Disney Junior Dance Party. This is a live performance featuring many popular characters from Disney Junior like Vampirina, Doc McStuffins and Mickey and the Roaster Racers. It's perfect for the younger ones and I'm sure they will love to sing and dance along with their favourite characters. Further into Hollywoodland is the Disney Animation Building, which is comprised of a number of exhibits and attractions. Once in the animation courtyard, you can see some of the original artwork and the creative process process from Disney and Pixar animated films, featuring scenery from the films as well as concept art of some of the characters. From here, you can head into the Animation Academy where guests can learn how to draw various Disney characters. You can also go to the Sorcerer's Workshop that features the Magic Mirror Realm which has interactive animation exhibits and allows guests to create simple animated drawings. You can meet Anna and Elsa in their Royal Welcome area and finally there is also Turtle Talk with Crush. An interactive show starring Crush the Sea Turtle from the Finding Nemo films. The animated characters interact with the audience using special digital puppetry and is especially exciting for the younger guests. On the opposite side of Hollywoodland is Monsters Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue. This is a fun dark ride that has guests take a taxi ride vehicle as you follow an abridged version of the first Monsters Inc. film. You'll notice all the characters from the movie including Boo, Randall and of course Mike and Sully as well as an amazing audio animatronic of Roz that actively communicates with guests. Also in Hollywoodland is the spectacular Hyperion Theatre that previously hosted the popular shows Frozen and recently Rogers the Musical. Unfortunately, no new show has been confirmed since the theatre closed at the end of August 2023, but fans are hoping for a brand new production at some point in the near future. We now head to the futuristic Avengers Campus. The first attraction that you will come to is Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. You join Rocket as you try to break out the remaining Guardians from the Collector's Fortress. The queue line is fantastically themed and filled with some of the Collector's prized possessions, including lots of Marvel and Disney Park Easter eggs. The ride was originally the popular Tower of Terror, with Mission Breakout utilizing the ride system. During your ride, you will see different clips of the Guardians in in various situations, which ultimately ends in their escape from the collector. There are six different versions of the clips, so each ride through can be enjoyed multiple times. Although a lot of fans were against the retheme of the classic attraction, it has had very positive reviews and is one of the most popular attractions in the park. Throughout the day, outside the ride, you can also take part in the Guardians of the Galaxy awesome dance off. Watch as Star Lord and Gamora perform amazing dances to the backdrop of classic rock tracks from Peter Quill's 
mixtapes and feel free to join in. The other major attraction in Avengers Campus is Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. With the use of screens and physical sets, you join Peter Parker throughout the different areas of Avengers Campus as you try to stop loose spider bots before they cause too much damage. The ride uses advanced technology which will track your hands as you shoot webs just like Spider-Man. You can also purchase a selection of merchandise that can be used on the attraction to improve your ability. This is a nice ride that all the family can enjoy and it is great fun competing against each other to see who can get the highest score. Similar to the previous attraction, throughout the day you can catch Spider-Man perform some amazing stunts on top of the Web Slingers ride building. There are lots of other things to discover within the land, including Avengers Headquarters where you will be able to meet a host of different Avengers throughout the day, including Black Panther, Black Widow, Thor and Loki. The Ancient Sanctum is where you may get the chance to see Doctor Strange perform and the Pim Test Kitchen and Tasting Lab, two restaurants featuring larger than life theming which is based on Ant-Man. Another character encounter includes the Warriors of Wakanda where you can train alongside the mighty General Okoye. Even casual fans of Marvel will enjoy this land and stick around until the end of the video for a sneak peek at what is coming to Avengers Campus in the future. If you're enjoying the guide so far, don't forget to hit the like button as it really helps us to share this video to a larger audience. It's now time to move on to the next area in the park, Cars Land. The main attraction here is Radiator Springs Racers. This is a simulated slot car attraction that uses the same technology as Test Track over in Epcot at Walt Disney World. You ride within a six person vehicle through encounters with the popular characters from Pixar's Cars. Guests then race another vehicle through turns and hills ending with a randomized race result which is a nice fun element to this already great attraction. Next is Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, a whip ride where guests get to ride in trailers being pulled and whipped around by baby tractors. The way it whips around the corners gives the illusion of traveling a lot faster than you actually are. With a pumping soundtrack and amazing theming, this is a perfect ride for all the family. The final attraction in Cars Land is Luigi's Rollickin' Roasters. Join Luigi and his cousins as guests ride in car vehicles as they move and spin to Italian music. This is a fun little trackless ride that is also great fun for all the family. In Cars Land, you can also find a recreation of Radiator Springs, the fictional town that a lot of the movie's events take place. This is where you'll find the shopping and dining locations within the land. And don't forget to visit during the evening or nighttime as it is truly a sight not to be missed. We now head on to the newest area in the park, San Francisco, which is of course themed to the fictional city within Big Hero 6 and replaced the previous Pacific Wharf. It features all new dining locations as well as a chance to meet Baymax at different times throughout the day. It still contains the attraction, the Bakery Tour. This is a simple walkthrough educational experience that shows the process of making sourdough bread. You'll be able to watch the different steps of making the bread as well as getting the chance to sample some of the delicious baked goods. We now cross over the Tory Gate Bridge to Pixar Pier, which is of course themed to the popular Pixar movies, including The Incredibles, Toy Story and Inside Out. The first attraction is the Incredicoaster. This steel roller coaster features all the characters from The Incredibles as you chase Jack-Jack around the beautiful layout of the track. Not only is it the longest and fastest coaster in all of the Disneyland Resort, it also features one loop, making it the only attraction with an inversion. This is one of the most thrilling attractions in the park and not one to be missed. Next is Jessie's Critter Carousel. Inspired by Jessie's Wilderness Friends, featured in Woody's Roundup television show from Toy Story 2. Guests can ride on a selection of critters on this nice relaxing carousel attraction. Further along Pixar Pier is Toy Story Midway Mania. This is an interactive 3D shooting gallery featuring characters from the Toy Story franchise. It has awesome interactivity, rewritability and genuinely enjoyable for adults and kids alike and great for competing against your family and friends to see who is the best shooter. Along the promenade, you can try the various games of Pixar Pier for a chance to win a Pixar plush at the many Midway booths. Next is the iconic Pixar Pal Around. This is an eccentric wheel ride that sports the face of Mickey in the center of its wheel that offers 24 gondolas in a choice of ride throughs. 16 of the gondolas ride on interior rails so that they slide inward and outward as the wheel rotates, which is quite the intense experience. But don't worry, eight of the gondolas are fixed 
sticks to the rim of the wheel, offering a more relaxing ride. The final attraction in Pixar Pier is Inside Out Emotional Whirlwind. This is a spinning attraction where you can ride Riley's emotions while sitting in a basket that takes you up, down and around. Similar to other lands throughout the day, you may have a chance to meet some of your favourite Pixar characters, including The Incredibles, Woody and Buzz from Toy Story, Joy and Sadness from Inside Out, and Russell and Doug from Up, plus many more. Some of the previous land Paradise Pier remains as a smaller themed area called Paradise Gardens Park. The first attraction is Silly Symphony Swings, a wave swinger ride themed to Disney's 1935 short film, The Band Concert. Mickey Mouse conducts from high atop the attraction, synchronized with the music as the chairs raise up and swing round. Next is Goofy Sky School, a steel wild mouse roller coaster where guests board a plane and navigate a crash course of flying which features features sharp turns, steep drops and sudden stops. This is a nice little coaster that is fun for all the family. Next up is Jumpin' Jellyfish, a small parachute drop ride which allows the guests to board colourful jellyfish as you slowly descend back to earth. Right next door is the Golden Zephyr, another spinning attraction that has guests ride in rocket ships as you go on a relaxing twirling adventure. The final attraction in Paradise Gardens Park is the Little Mermaid, Ariel's Undersea Adventure. This Omnimover dark ride takes you under the sea, where you will experience an adventure with all your favourite characters and songs. Opposite the Little Mermaid is the viewing area for the nighttime show, World of Colour 1. Stick around until the end of the video as we go through the parades and nighttime shows at Disney's California Adventure. Other entertainment in the land includes the Paradise Garden Bandstand that has various musical performances throughout the day and a perfect place to relax and take in the atmosphere of the park. Also, on the other side of the land, before taking the bridge to Pixar Pier, you could enjoy Operation Playtime, featuring the Green Army Patrol, giving impromptu street performances in front of the Pixar Pier boy. We now move to the final area of the park, Grizzly Peak, which has an amazing American National Park theme. First up is the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, a forest themed play area that features a trail in a redwood forest, a large network of stairs and rope bridges, a traverse rock climbing wall, a zip line, side by side slides and an amphitheater. Explorers can also visit the Kanai Spirit Cave to find what spirit animal represents them. This is the perfect way to enjoy some nature and relax away from the busier areas of the park. Next is Grizzly River Run, the river rapids ride that are engineered to spin as you descend the mountain, which features a cave and a log jam. Remember, you will most likely get wet, so either bring a raincoat or you could just dry off in the hot Californian sun. The final attraction in this guide is Soarin', which is a hang glider simulator. It switches between the original Soarin' over California, which flies guests over some amazing sceneries from all over the Golden State, and Soarin' around the world, where you will visit many places from around the globe. It is currently set as Soarin' around the world, but check with the official Disneyland website to see which version is showing during your visit. At the date of making this video, there is currently no parade at Disney's California Adventure, but fear not, as during Pixar Fest, which begins April 26th until August 4th, there will be a brand new daytime parade called Better Together, a Pixar Pals celebration. This will be filled with lots of exciting floats featuring all your favourite Pixar characters, including the recently released Turning Red. Other events at California Adventure include the Food and Wine Festival from March 1st until April 22nd, Pixar Fest and the Festival of the Holidays during the fall and winter months. As for nighttime entertainment, you can enjoy the wonderful World of Colour 1. This new show focuses on Disney, Star Wars and Pixar characters that have had one small moment that changed their world for the better through the use of amazing water fountains, projections and an exciting soundtrack. So that wraps up everything in Disney California Adventure, let's head next Next door to the classic Disneyland. You will head straight into the first area, the iconic Main Street USA. You will need to walk under the first attraction in this guide, the Disneyland Railroad. This is an 18 minute relaxing journey in an authentic steam powered train that will take you around the whole of Disneyland. You have the choice to stay on the train as long as you want as it loops around the park or you could use it to travel between the different stations in New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, Tomorrowland and of course the starting station on Main Street USA. 
USA. Along with the amazing views of the park, there are also some unique dioramas and scenes on this classic Disney adventure. Throughout the day, you can also ride on one of the amazing Main Street vehicles. The four vehicles you could get the chance to ride are the horse-drawn streetcar, the horseless carriage, the fire engine, or the omnibus. You can either hop on in the town square near City Hall to the central plaza in front of the castle, or vice versa. If you are a fan of Disney Park's history, then you will love the Disney Gallery, a small museum dedicated to seasonal exhibits showcasing attractions and icons from all the Disney parks around the the world. Currently, there is a special 100 Years of Wonder presentation focusing on attractions within Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure. Right next door is the Disneyland Story, presenting great moments with Mr. Lincoln that features the impressive audio animatronic of Walt Disney's boyhood hero, Abraham Lincoln. After a brief but moving film all about President Lincoln's life, you will then meet the man himself as he delivers highlights of some of his greatest speeches. You will also be able to explore through a treasure trove of Disneyland history, including a scale model of how the park looked on opening day, rare photos, and other exciting memorabilia. Further down Main Street is the Main Street Cinema, where you can enjoy some classic Disney animations from the 1920s and 30s, including the infamous Steamboat Willie. This is a great place to relax while enjoying some Disney history. Main Street USA also has lots of dining and shopping locations, and of course the beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle. Stick around until the end of the guide as I will go through the beautiful nighttime shows and amazing parades that can be viewed along Main Street. Also, you may even encounter other awesome entertainment like the Dapper Dans or the Disneyland Band that play at various times throughout the day. In the hub area in front of the castle, you'll be able to access four of the seven themed lands within Disneyland. As with all my guides, we will head around the park clockwise, which takes us to our next land, Adventureland. Near the entrance is the land's first attraction, Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. This classic Disney show opened in 1963 and still delights guests today with the amazing audio animatronic birds, flowers and totem poles singing the beloved soundtrack. Make sure you catch a viewing when you're in Adventureland. Further into the land is another classic attraction, the Jungle Cruise. This is an awesome boat ride that takes you through different jungles from all around the world as you encounter animals, natives, and of course the backside of water. It's famous for the jokes and puns that the Jungle Cruise skippers use throughout your adventure, which adds another amazing element to your fantastic journey. Next up is the recently updated Adventureland Treehouse. This used to be Tarzan's treehouse, but has reverted back to being inspired by Walt Disney's Swiss Family Robinson. Explore the amazing home filled with unique inventions, passions, and interests across the various rooms that make up this wonderful treehouse. It also features references to the Society of Explorers and Adventurers that links many of the attractions at all six Disney resorts. The final attraction in Adventureland is Indiana Jones Adventure. This is an awesome dark ride that takes you on a mystical adventure with Dr. Jones as you wade through the jungle and enter the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. It features audio animatronics, amazing set designs, and great special effects, as well as lots of different scenes and hidden easter eggs from the Indiana Jones franchise. This is one of the most popular attractions in the park, so make sure you head here early to reduce your wait times. We now move on to New Orleans Square, which is home to two classic Disney attractions. The first is Pirates of the Caribbean, the infamous dark boat ride that takes you on an adventurous journey through many different exciting scenes featuring a bayou, caves, pirates as they take over a town, and of course Captain Jack Sparrow makes an appearance. This usually has a low wait time and is a must ride attraction in Disneyland. You can also dine in the Blue Bayou restaurant and watch as the boats from this ride float by. The other classic attraction in New New Orleans Square is the Haunted Mansion. This offers great theming, a fun storyline, and awesome special effects, and has one of the greatest ride pre-shows in the infamous stretching room. You'll head on to the Omnimover ride system that takes you through many different scenes within the Haunted Mansion as you come face to face with lots of haunts, including the bride, hitchhiking ghost, the medium Madame Leota, and of course the hatbox ghost. During the Halloween and Christmas period, you will have a chance to try Haunted Mansion Holiday, a special overlay themed to the classic Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. 
Now onto the next land, Critter Country. You will first come to the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes. Head out onto the rivers of America as you join in the fun and paddle around Tom Sawyer Island while taking in the amazing sights of Disneyland. This only operates on busy days, usually weekends and the summer months. The final attraction in Critter Country is the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Join Pooh Bear and the gang on this classic dark ride that takes you through many different scenes featuring all your favourite characters, including bouncing with Tigger and a Heffalump dream sequence. This is perfect for younger guests and fans of the honey loving bear. The classic log flume ride Splash Mountain has sadly closed for good, but don't worry, at the end of this video you can check out the full details for its replacement. Next, we head out of this world and into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is still a very popular section of the park and I would suggest heading here early for a chance to ride the amazing Rise of the Resistance. If you like Star Wars and dark rides, then this is probably the perfect attraction for you. It features a trackless dark ride, a walkthrough section, a motion simulator, audio animatronics, huge practical sets and an amazing storyline. All of this results in one of the greatest Disney attractions ever created and continues to have long lines so please plan accordingly. If you're enjoying the video so far please don't forget to hit the like button as it helps us to share this guide to a larger audience. The other attraction in Galaxy's Edge is the fun Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. This is a motion simulator ride giving riders a chance to be a pilot, gunner or engineer as you go on an interactive smuggling mission. It's great fun and gives a great rewrite ability trying out the different roles as well as attempting to beat your previous scores. There is also lots of shopping and dining locations within Galaxy's Edge and plenty of things for you to explore like building your very own lightsaber or droid, meeting characters roaming the land, trying the cocktails in Ogre's Cantina and even playing the fun datapad game through the Play Disney Parks app that interacts with different elements throughout the land. Head to Batu to experience these amazing attractions as soon as possible. You can access Galaxy's Edge through Critter Country, Fantasyland and Frontierland, which is the next area in this guide. First, you will come to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This mine train roller coaster really doesn't disappoint as the theming is fantastic and takes you on an exciting journey through the abandoned mines of Rainbow Ridge. On this runaway train ride, you'll experience all the dips and turns, encounter dinosaur bones, hear the cranking of the lift hill and bell whistles and have a very enjoyable ride overall. Also, don't forget to look out for the goat. You can set sail around the rivers of America on board the Mark Twain Riverboat. You'll be able to take in the sights of Frontierland, Tom Sawyer Island, Critter Country and New Orleans Square on this nice relaxing ride. It's perfect for taking a break in between some of the more intense attractions in the park. You can also visit Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer's Island by taking a raft boat across the river of America. Although this is a frontier land attraction, the rafts are located in New Orleans Square. The island contains interactive, climbing and scenic opportunities in its caves, forts and other exciting landmarks. You can find references to the classic Mark Twain novel The Adventures of Tom Sawyer as well as The Pirates of the Caribbean. Finally, you can have a go at the Frontierland Shooting Exposition, which for a $1 charge you can have the chance to shoot at over 100 interactive targets. It's great fun to play along with your friends and family to see who is the best sharpshooter. From Frontierland, you go straight into Fantasyland and first up is Pinocchio's Daring Journey. This is a dark ride which will take you through scenes that feature the Stromboli Circus, Pleasure Island, Monstro the Whale and you'll see lots of your favourite characters from the classic animated film. Right next door is another dark ride, Snow White's Enchanted Wish, which is one of the few remaining 1955 opening day attractions. Of course, it has had many updates over the years, but you'll still see scenes featuring Snow White dancing with the dwarfs, the evil queen creating her master plan, and of course, Snow White living happily ever after. Next up, you'll be right in front of Sleeping Beauty's Castle, where you can enter into a walkthrough attraction and explore winding passageways where the epic tale of Princess Aurora is told through 3D dioramas and stunning special effects. 
In front of the castle in the central hub area, you can meet your favourite Disney princesses at the Royal Hall and gather round to watch live shows that recreate classic Disney tales in the Royal Theatre. Back into the centre of Fantasyland is the King Arthur Carousel. This is a classic Disney carousel ride where all the horses are unique and I think it is best to ride it at night to enjoy the amazing lit up scenery around Fantasyland while listening to the organ based soundtrack of Disney classics. Next is the Casey Jr Circus Train, a rideable miniature railroad based on the train with the same name from the animated classic Dumbo. It gives passengers a tour of many miniature scenes from Disney animated films that are also featured in the storybook Land Canal Boats. Sticking with a similar theme, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is an aerial carousel style ride that is also perfect for younger guests as you take flight on everyone's favourite flying elephant. Next up is the popular dark ride, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Guests will assume the role of Mr. Toad as you recklessly careen through the English countryside and streets of London in a period motor car, before ultimately meeting demise in a railway tunnel and ending up in a tongue-in-cheek depiction of hell. Don't worry, you will find a way to escape and end up back into Fantasyland. Next door is another classic dark ride, Peter Pan's Flight, which is one of the most popular attractions in the park. You board the flying pirate ship as you travel through scenes in London and Neverland. You'll see the Lost Boys Camp, Mermaid Lagoon, Skull Rock and encounter some of Neverland's most famous residents. Next is the spinning teacup ride, Mad Tea Party. Based on the unbirthday party scene in Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland, you can enjoy the opening day Disneyland attraction as you go around and around and around. This scene is also depicted in the next dark ride, Alice in Wonderland, as well as other popular scenes from the movie, including falling down the rabbit hole, meeting the Cheshire Cat and playing croquet with the Queen of Hearts. The storybook Land Canal Boats will take you on a leisurely paced outdoor boat ride through a winding canal featuring settings from Disney animated classics recreated in miniature. This is the perfect way to relax and take in the different stories that Disney has shown us over its animation history. Next, you'll be transported to a Swiss mountain range on the Matterhorn Bobsleds, a twin track steel roller coaster that takes you down a winding path through caverns and tunnels in Bobsleds as you get a great view of Disneyland. Look out for a supposed monster that is lurking around the area. The final attraction in Fantasyland is It's a Small World. This is a water-based dark ride and a classic Disney attraction that includes over 300 audio animatronic dolls in traditional costumes from cultures all around the world and includes the classic theme song. Behind Fantasyland is Mickey's Toontown, which features attractions based on Mickey Mouse and friends. First up is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This is a dark ride that features Mickey, Minnie and Goofy in their modern animation style, with many different exciting scenes which has quickly become a fan favourite and is a great addition to the park. Next is Goofy's How to Play Yard, an interactive musical garden that will have the younger guests jumping for joy. You can also step inside Goofy's kooky house where he is in the process of creating some delicious candy. With lots of interactive features and a great view of Toontown, you won't want to skip this one. Next door is Donald's Duck Pond, a fun wet play area filled with spinning water lilies, slides, balance beams and rocking toys. Keep your eyes out for other familiar ducklings aboard the flooded Donald's boat called Miss Daisy. This is a perfect way to cool down during the warmer summer months. Chippendale's Gadget Coaster is a junior roller coaster themed to Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Younger guests will love this fun, thrilling attraction that includes figures of Chippendale and Gadget. You can visit Mickey and Minnie's houses where you can get a tour of their wonderful homes and gardens and even get the chance to meet them for a photo or a signature. Next up is Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, a dark ride themed to the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit. As the name suggests, this attraction spins as it follows a track through a variety of scenes. You'll join Detective Jessica Rabbit as she tries to stop the weasels dumping dip around the city. There are also lots of things to explore in the Centennial Park area of Toontown, including a fountain themed around Mickey and Minnie that has lots of water features for the younger guests to play with, and the Dreaming Tree inspired by Walt Disney's hometown. 
As you make your way back down through Fantasyland, you will come to the final area in the park, Tomorrowland. You will first come to Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. You can enjoy a ride on one of these real submarines that will take you through the lagoon. Peep through the portholes to find all your favourite characters including Dory, Marlin, Crush and of course Nemo. Next door is the Disneyland Monorail. Originally opening as a simple attraction showcasing the transport of tomorrow, it has gone on to add a station at Downtown Disney, making it a great way to transfer between the two areas of the resort. With the line taking you through Disney's California Adventure, Downtown Disney and different areas within Disneyland, this is more than just a transportation device. Next is Autopia, where you can drive your very own miniature gas powered car around an amazing miniature roadway. You will be able to see parts of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland along this fun course, making it perfect for younger guests that want to experience driving a real car for the first time. On the other side of Tomorrowland is Space Mountain. This is of course the classic indoor roller coaster that has a great atmospheric queue line before heading onto the ride. It is in almost pitch darkness so you can never tell which way the ride car will be going making it a very exciting experience. Next is Star Tours. This is a simple 3D motion simulator ride that was updated to Star Tours The Adventure Continues, which added a variety of scenes from all three trilogies. With these new scenes, there is a total of 384 different combinations, giving each ride a completely unique experience and gives the chance for a lot of rewritability. Also in 2024, new scenes from the popular Star Wars TV series Ahsoka will be added to the attraction, making this already Already great ride even better. Next is the rocket spinner attraction Astro Orbiter. This takes center stage in Tomorrowland that spins you round and round and is also a great way to see some amazing views of Disneyland. The final attraction in Tomorrowland is Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, the shooting dark ride that lets you compete with your family and friends to get the highest score as you help Buzz Lightyear take on the evil Emperor Zerg. We will now take a look at all the different parades and nighttime shows that Disneyland has to offer. First up is the daytime parade, Magic Happens, with magical floats showcasing characters and set pieces from the likes of Moena, Coco, Frozen and many more popular Disney animated classics. Usually running twice a day, make sure you don't miss this amazing parade. As for nighttime celebrations, at the time of recording this video, you can currently enjoy Mickey's Mix Magic, which celebrates all things Mickey and Minnie with amazing projections, lasers and effects all along Main Street US. Say, Sleeping Beauty's Castle and the facade of It's a Small World. On select nights, you can also enjoy an accompanying fireworks package. From March 22nd to April 14th, you can enjoy Wondrous Journeys. The show features a montage of every film released from the studio, starting from Steamboat Willie all the way up to their latest release. With state-of-the-art projections, a killer soundtrack, and on select nights some amazing fireworks, this is another show that can't be missed. And from April 26th until August 4th, the special Together Forever, a Pixar nighttime celebration returns for Pixar Fest. This celebrates all the classic Pixar movies with the use of fireworks, projections, pyrotechnics, lasers and of course music. After this, Mickey's Mix Magic will return before the seasonal shows during the Halloween and holiday seasons. We end with the classic nighttime spectacular Fantasmic, featuring a fantastical array of live performers, beloved Disney characters, enhanced special effects, state-of-the-art projections and amazing pyrotechnics. This show will wow the entire family and is the perfect way to end your amazing day at Disneyland. With two performances each day, you won't want to miss this one. Due to the accident in 2022, Fantasmic is set to return on May 24th. My hot tips for visiting the parks, expect to spend at least a full day at both parks as there are plenty of attractions to ride and unless all the wait times are 0 to 5 minutes, it would be impossible to cover both Disneyland parks. Make use of the single rider lines found in both parks to reduce your wait times. And always check the official Disneyland website for a full entertainment schedule and if any attractions are closed on the day of your visit. Finally, we end this video with a little look into the future. At 
Disney California adventure, I would like to say near future, but unfortunately we haven't had any new information regarding the two Avengers themed attractions. It was teased at previous D23 expos that along with the long awaited e-ticket Quinjet ride, another attraction will be coming to Avengers Campus set in the multiverse. It will allow guests to fight alongside many different versions of classic Marvel characters as you fight King Thanos in what looks like a motion simulator. Hopefully we will hear more about the development of these two attractions soon. And at Disneyland, as I'm sure most of you are aware, Splash Mountain will be getting a Princess and the Frog re-themed to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. This will include an original storyline and will feature all new audio animatronics and effects throughout. The full refurb is already well underway and hopefully it will be completed by the end of 2024. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to help support the channel then consider subscribing for free or joining as a member for exclusive early access to videos and other exciting perks. If you want to know more about the parks at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida then check out this guide video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Theme Park 101.